What's up everyone? This is Bullshot, back again with another Call of Duty mobile video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and I hope you guys are enjoying the new Season 10 Anniversary update so far. ...in the most balanced sensitivity setup for the Season 10 Battle Royale, which is heavily compatible with the mobile devices. I have adjusted some of my basic settings, and I have changed a few other settings in the sensitivity section. And this new setup is providing me with some insanely optimized performance inside of this new season's battle royale. Make sure to stick to the end of this video, as it is going to be extremely helpful for my fellow viewers. Now, if this is your first time here in my channel, then be sure to press the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you never miss any future update on my channel. And make sure hit the like button below, as this helps me a lot to make contents like this for you. Anyways, with that being said, let's get right into the video. First, I am going to be starting with the basic settings of the Battle Royale. Most of these options in this section are pretty much identical as they were during the previous Season 9 update. The Fast Scope switch allows you to change optics with a drop-down menu, which only works if you carry more than one optic attachment. I personally never use any optical attachment, that's why I am not using this option. The slide hint is totally an optional choice. It basically shows you a slide button instead of a crouch button when you are sprinting. The shotgun hit reminder also is an optional choice, as it doesn't affect anything to the gameplay, it just shows you the placements of the bullets fired from a shotgun. The automated armor repair allows you to continuously upgrade your armor until the health points of the armor reaches to 150 points. I personally do not like to use this option because it becomes extremely unpredictable to use in the middle of engagements. Rest of the settings are pretty reasonable. Now, in the Battle Royale, I am currently using the tap and hold option to aim down sight, or better versatility in the middle of the battlefield. Also, I am gradually switching to Four Fingers Claw, and I become extremely comfortable with this option. Other than that, I use the One Tap Slide option for sliding. The Always Sprint option is a very important thing as it helps to slide flawlessly without going into crouch mode. And most importantly, I have been using maximum field of view in both of my perspectives. It matches with my sensitivity values pretty easily, and I don't see any changes coming anytime soon. That's pretty much it for the basic settings of the Battle Royale. In the graphics settings, I personally use the graphics quality on the medium option. Although my device has support for higher options, but it gets slightly hotter on anything over the medium quality and the frame starts to drop pretty drastically once I play more than a few matches. For the frame rate option, I'll recommend you to use the maximum settings every single time, as this is a first-person shooter slash online battle royale. And for any online FPS title, the frame rate has to be the most important factor in the game. In the audio settings, I have kept everything pretty much the same, except the UI volume and the in-game music. Decreasing the UI volume to 50% is extremely user-friendly for me. And I think you should apply this to your audio settings as well. It will reduce the tap noises when you press any button while playing the Battle Royale. Now in the settings of the special effects, I have been using the pink electrical flash in the hit effects section. Although it is a cosmetic thing after all, which depends totally on your personal preference. However, in the section of the get hit hint effect, I'll be suggesting you to use something dynamic which can be easily visible, like the pink or the red one. There is nothing much important to talk about in the loot settings. Here is my armor formation for different sorts of armors. Using kinetics while engaging enemies can be a huge pain in the ass. That's why, me personally, always try to stick to the blue and the black armor plates. For the optics, I personally never use anything other than the classic red dot sights. I usually don't recommend you to use any kind of optics in close range encounters. I sometimes use the reflex sights with my weapons because it feels more user-friendly in the long-range engagements. In the section of the lethal and tactical grenades, along with six frag grenades, I am going to be recommending you to carry at least three Nova gases and three cluster grenades in order to counter the enemy tanks or to engage with the trap master campers in the buildings. Also, you must carry a set of smoke grenades as they are going to be super helpful whenever you need to run away from a risky situation. And lastly, here is complete formation of the modification attachments for all sorts of weapon categories. And now, before we get to discuss my updated sensitivity settings for the Season 9 Battle Royale, 
I want you to have a look on some of my gameplay clips. With this, you're gonna have some approximate idea about the speed of my play style and how I manage to deal with my enemies in close range engagements. Another thing I want to mention before sharing my sensitivity values, which is, I am currently using the POCO F5 as my primary device, which has screen size of 6.5 inches, and my sensitivity values may or may not be exactly accurate for you. That's why, I am suggesting you to carefully observe my movements and my accuracy throughout this entire gameplay session, and I'll see you after the final kill, with all the values of the sensitivity settings. As you guys have noticed, I have a moderately fast movement speed, which is pretty easier to adapt. And most of the time, I use the gyroscope to track down enemies and to control the vertical recoil of my weapons. Now, for the Battle Royale, I am currently using the speed acceleration in the rotation mode with a value of 145. You can keep it somewhere between 130 to 150, which is the most user-friendly sweet spot and works flawlessly with the default or the maximum value of the field of view. Currently, I'm using 130 because of the boosted field of view in third-person perspective. It matches perfectly with the speed of my movements. And along with my highly accurate gyroscope setup, it can provide you with some extremely optimized performance in the Battle Royale. For the sensitivity switch settings, I am recommending you to use the third option, which is gradually switching while aiming down sight. And now, the most important part, here are all the sensitivity values for the Battle Royale. According to your play style, you can tweak the sensitivity values in the general and the firing sensitivity, but I recommend you not to make any changes in the gyroscope sensitivity section because it is extremely calculated for a moderately fast play style, specifically for the mobile players. And trust me when I say it will give you some aim bot level accuracy in all sorts of ranges possible. And here is my three slash four fingers HUD layout for the Battle Royale. It's a pretty basic four finger setup, which is extremely easy to adapt. I normally play with three fingers in general. However, for being a tap and hold to aim down sight user, I just use the scope button with my right index finger, and that's the only thing I do with my fourth finger. 